Whereabouts do you come from? Oh, I come from Laguna Beach, California. What do you think of Australia? Oh, well, I'm very much uh, surprised at the size of the city. Yes. I didn't realize it were anywhere near that oh, size. You've had this and, opportunity uh, to meet the people. See the oh, people? yes, I like the people very much. Any uh, questions we ask for just... Uh, answered so very politely in every way. How about so, criticism? Well, I don't uh, have any criticism except the weather disappoints us a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, no, I don't have any criticism to make. Well, your impressions of Australia over the period of one week? Well, they're, they're very uh, favorable. The weather has been a little on the damp side. They've had some heavy mist since we've been here. But the, the city itself, you know, the, the weather will change. The city itself is very cosmopolitan. I compare it to our San Francisco on the West Coast. The people are delightful. We stayed in one of the finest hotels that we, my wife and, ever stayed, and I have ever stayed in, and we've, this is the fifth continent that we've visited. So I think we're in a position to say that, uh, can I mention the hotel? No, you can't. Okay, all right. Well, it, uh, <laughs> Any... it's CH, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> People down here, you know, they, they imagine that uh, Sydney is quite a, an American type of city. Do you think that, coming from the States? Well, it's becoming more that way. You've been here before, have you? No, but, uh, mm -hmm. but it's becoming more that way. Modernize, modernize. The, uh, and uh, this uh, idea... Uh, hold it, let's start again. So I'm Dr. So-and-so, and I've met quite oh, a few people. Oh, pardon me, sir. Uh, I'm Dr. Uh, Joel Peterson from uh, Indiana, near, near Indianapolis, and uh, we've had a great tour of your country here, and we particularly uh, like Sydney. How about the people, Doctor? And the people. Uh, our greatest problem here is sometimes is understanding them. Oh. And going to the road the other day, I had much difficulty in, in getting the uh, pronunciation, pronunciations of the A's. Uh, for example, on uh, you say you're going to meet me on uh, Hay Street, uh, and you call that uh, High Street. Oh, I see. And uh, if you're going to have a, a late meal, a late lunch, you could say, well, that is a light lunch. Very confusing so for two, isn't it? Hmm? Very much, sir. And. Uh, you look like a typical tourist. <laughs> I am. Look, look at this. You've I just really had your first am. look at Australia. Yes, I have. What are your impressions of Sydney? I think it is simply beautiful. It's mm. a wonderful, wonderful city, and the harbor is the most lovely thing I've ever seen. You liked everything you saw? Most everything I saw. There was something I expected to be quite lovely, maybe as far as the, the stores were concerned. But uh, they have beautiful merchandise, but there's so much of it I couldn't find, the, find it. Everything looked too much. Uh, what did you expect before you came? Did you have some kind of preconceived idea of what the city would look like? Uh, and only the, the openness of the harbors, the longshore coast is what I expected, but I didn't expect to see the lovely, magnificent oldness of the buildings. I, that was all such a surprise to me. Thank and you. I loved it. We're sorry about the weather, but we can't help that. Where do you come from? Um, from Los Angeles area. Bellflower, California, actually. You look like a woman who's done some shopping in Australia. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> oh, tell us about the people you've come into contact with. How do they compare with those in Los Angeles? Well, I find they're very friendly, but more outspoken, I think, a little more bold and uh, more honest in their opinions. Here? About things. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's surprising because Americans generally have a reputation for not being very inhibited in their opinions. Well, I don't know. They just, I think the Australian people seem to say what they mean more than we do. You understood what they said? Yes. <laughs> We've already had a criticism of that. <laughs> the I's and the A sounds, you know? No, you get used to it right away, I think. I did, anyway. Like 1892. <laughs> was your tour of Sydney highly organized during your brief stay here? Well, yes, yes, it was quite highly organized. Uh, I would say just about right. Oh, where did you go? We had enough freedom. Well... Uh, did you uh, look around Sydney by yourself, sir, or were you organized in a tour uh, system, you know? Well, we were mostly organized. Uh, I should say uh, very well organized. We enjoyed two lovely tours mm -hmm. and enjoyed a delightful afternoon yesterday at the Royal Squadron. Uh, uh, how about your approach to tourism? I mean, are you a tourist who believes all he sees, or do you look deeper when you go to a city? Well, we, of course, uh, look beyond the surface as much as we can and try to uh, grasp the whole picture uh, quite thoroughly. Let her run for a while on the picture, then What do you do for a living, sir? Well, I'm advertising manager of Logan Manufacturing Company in Glendale. Oh, I see. Are you an artist by inclination, by profession, or what? Well, it's been my profession for many years. Uh, uh, you are seeing Sydney through the eyes of an artist, eh? That's for sure. Mm -hmm. And especially many points here to sketch. 
Like Mrs. Macquarie, is that the way you pronounce it? Mrs. Macquarie's Macquarie seat. Seat, that's right. That was the personal aim that's of your right. artistic endeavor while in Sydney, eh? That's right, and to keep out of the liquid sunshine while we got into the cave over there, and we made a sketch out of the cave. Your impressions of Sydney at this stage, eh? Impressions of Sydney? Well, the hospitality course has been mentioned many times, I imagine, as it would be, at the uh, National Academy the other night. We enjoyed uh, about uh, 25 or 30 individuals that gave us the pleasure of their show. Do you think that Sydney is a carbon copy of somewhere else, like any a big American city, or does it have a character of its own? It has a character definitely of its own. The closest thing that it comes to in cruising water would be Seattle, Washington, where they're cruising in the Inland Channel, except that it's different again. It's different from San Francisco. Uh, one thing about the cab drivers here, though, the only place in the world where you touch a man on the shoulder, ask him to slow down a little bit. Even in New York, have I uh, been you able to be keep up to with You wouldn't be gay to in New York, eh? Oh, no, no. Uh, and especially on the left-hand side of the street is a little uh, uh, nerve-wracking. A couple of people standing very close together. Why is that? <laughs> Mrs. Richard P. Della Vedua. <laughs> well, that's and your name. But what's the reason you're standing like this? And we're honeymooning. Well, I guess that's cruise. the best reason in the world. It's raining behind me, but the sun's always out when people are on a honeymoon, it's been said. You've never been down here before? Yeah, this is first trip south. Well, how about your impressions as a woman? Well, um, I found it uh, very interesting with the, um, with the shopping downtown, lovely, lovely shops. I'd like to live here sometime and uh, be able to uh, go into the department stores and find everything that you'd need right here in one place. What's your job? Uh, I work with Lockheed Aircraft Corporation in California. I was going to ask you to make some kind of comparison. I guess it's impossible in that particular field. What did you do while you were down here? Did you get away, you know, from the tours and off the beaten track? I imagine if I were a honeymooner, I'd do just that. Well, we took the tours, and we took a nightclub tour. We enjoyed them very much. We think your en entertainment down here is wonderful. And uh, besides that, uh, due to the rain and the wet weather, we were a little bit restricted in what we could do. But uh, we did shop, and uh, we saw as much of Sydney as we possibly could. We just wish we had more time to spend here. And well, you sailed. Man, hmm? And you sailed. Oh, sailed. Yesterday, uh, I was a guest on one of the yachts uh, out in the harbor and sailed for several hours oh, in yeah. the regatta and uh, enjoyed the hospitality of the club. It was very, very wonderful. Anything down here you didn't understand, you know, being a, well, a foreigner, no, technically? A little trouble with the language. Oh. We've learned some new expressions. <laughs> oh, have you? Oh, yes. Uh, we won't quote them right here because no, I imagine what's going on. That's right, especially on shipboard.